friends, welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time with me, Steffi. How are you? I hope you are doing well and healthy wherever you are. In today's big book, we are going to discover lots of different feelings such as happy, sad, confident, shy, and even angry. Are you ready? Then let us discover more of our feelings as we read the great big book of feelings. Please enjoy the story. The Great Big Books of Feelings Written by Mary Huffman and illustrated by Ross Asquith How do you feel today? How do you think these children are feeling? It isn't always easy to tell. Happy. What makes you happy? Perhaps cuddling your pet or reading your favorite book. Some people just seem born happier than others. And it can be enough for the sun to be shining to make you feel very happy. Sad. A rainy day can make you sad, but that's a small sadness. Someone forgetting it's your birthday is a bigger one. But when someone you love dies, the sadness feels so big, it covers all your life, like the biggest rain cloud ever. Excited! What makes you feel excited? We can get very excited just about going on an outing. But some people do really exciting things like jumping out of planes or climbing high mountains. What's the most exciting thing you've ever done? Bored. When there is nothing exciting going on, you can feel bored. Grown-ups hate it when you say, I'm bored. Maybe because they never have time to be bored. Something you think is boring might turn out to be interesting, even exciting, if you give it a try. Interested How does a bird fly? Who invented bedtime? Please miss, why? What is in my mom's handbag? Where do babies come from? Why do we need them? What is sand made of? How does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? How does the internet work? What are you interested in? Angry. What makes you angry? Little things like stubbing your toe or when parents or teachers are being unfair. A horrible hot feeling bubbles up inside you and you want to shout at someone or throw things. Often we take out our angry feelings on people or things just because they are there. What can you do when you feel angry instead of hurting other people? Count to 10. ten Go for a walk nine, Shout five, Do an angry dance Draw an angry picture Stamp Punch an angry cushion Sometimes feeling angry can be good Upset. Some things would make anyone upset. Being ignored by your friends, being bullied, or losing someone you love. You'd have to be a robot not to be upset by things like this. 
but some people find it upsetting to move house or to go to a new school, while others see those times as exciting. Calm. What do you do to calm down after you've been upset? Some people feel calm when they are near water, because of the soothing sound. Whatever makes you feel calm and peaceful might be a good thing to think about when you feel upset. Silly. Sometimes you just feel in a silly mood. You might want to do or say or be something very silly. Even grown-ups get this feeling sometimes. Lonely. Everyone feels lonely sometimes. Maybe it's because you feel you haven't got any friends, or you think you are different from everyone else in the world. Sometimes you can feel very lonely even in the middle of a crowd of people, especially if you have just arrived to live in a new country. The best way to make friends is to be friendly yourself. You never know, maybe other people are feeling lonely too. Scared. What scares you? People can be scared of all sorts of things. Spiders, hides, dogs, saying their name out loud, the dark, snakes, the number 13. Some people are even scared of knees. But mostly we are scared because we are afraid someone or something will hurt us or someone close to us. Safe. What makes you feel safe and not scared at all? Perhaps being indoors in the warm when it's dark and cold outside? Snuggling under the covers at bedtime? Having someone to look after you that you trust? Embarrassed Have you ever felt really embarrassed? We all have embarrassing moments that makes us want to hide when we think of them. Maybe one of your parents has embarrassed you in public? Nobody likes being made to look a fool in front of other people, but it happens to all of us. Some people don't seem to mind though, they never feel embarrassed. Shy. Are you a shy person? Most people feel shy sometimes, but some of us feel shy all the time. <laughs> if you don't like meeting new people, or don't like saying anything in a big group, or if you hide behind your hair or a book, you are probably a shy person. Confident. Other people seem really confident all the time. But you can bet some of them are feeling really shy inside. Worried. What sort of things do you worry about? Grown-ups worry about big things like money. And if your parents argue in front of you, that can be worrying for you too. What do you do when you feel worried? The best thing to do is tell someone how you are feeling. There's a Swedish proverb that says, Worry often gives a small thing a big shadow. But if there's no one you can tell, you can write down everything you are worried about. Jealous Jealousy is a really terrible feeling. It can come when you think a person likes someone else more than they like you. You might feel jealous of a brother or a sister. You can even feel jealous of a friend. It's one of the hardest feelings to get rid of, but it's good to learn not to be jealous if you can. 
some people call jealousy the green-eyed monster. Perhaps you can think of ways to destroy the monster of failing jealous. Satisfied. Do you remember what it was like before you could stand or walk? Probably not. But when babies and small children are learning to do something, they just keep on trying until they get it right. You want that shiny object that's just out of reach, so you stretch tall to get it. But isn't it a satisfying feeling when you do manage to complete the task or get the big thing you wanted? Feeling better Some people think that feelings are private and shouldn't be talked about. Others say it's good to let people know how you feel. Then maybe something can be done to help you feel better when you feel bad. There are lots more ways of feeling than in this book. See how many you can think of. And you can feel lots of different things at the same time or lots of different ways in one day. That's the end of the story. Wow! So many feelings that we learned today. My reading friends, have you found your feelings in the book? And how do you feel today? If you like this kind of story or book, please like this video and also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. See you in the other story.